All right, so as an update to my last setup in my last video, we uh, we got some upgrades to the solar system here, and uh, we'll take you through it. So we got we added another Chins 100 amp hour battery. We're still running the the Renogy Rover 40 amp. We got a a solar disconnect switch here for the solar panels. We got um. Two 240 watt panels up on the roof now, so we're powering a few more things. And we've got the uh, the inverter going straight down to the transfer switch to the main panel, which I'll show you here in a second. And here's a look at we added the second battery in parallel, so now we have. 200 amp hours at 12 volts. Um, there's the, the fuse, they just go straight into the bus bar. And on this side, we've got the shunt that goes down to a nice uh, Renogy battery monitor, which I'll also show you that I have that downstairs by the transfer switch. So here you can see we're pulling in 16 amps from the panels, going from the charge controller to the batteries. And um, with the Bluetooth module. Here's a look at currently what we're getting. So we're getting 238 watts. And that's what's coming from the panels and that's what it's converting to the battery. So here's a, you know, a current look. Pretty cool at the app, 250 watts out of the potential 480 watts from the panels. I've actually seen it go over 500 in uh, real sunny conditions, possibly in colder weather or just after a rain. It'll, you'll actually get more than their full potential sometimes. And it'll also give you a record here of uh, how much production you've got, how many amp hours and kilowatts. This is a little bit off the kilowatts, but the, the amp hours, the, the max charge wattage, and all that over the, the last, I think, 30 days, it'll tell you. So here's a look at the, uh, the upgrades here with the transfer switch going into the main panel. There's the monitor. So it's telling us we're at 55% on the battery bank and we have a couple circuits running on the transfer switch the fridge and the living room right now and in real sunny conditions we got the furnace hooked up we can run and uh, the laundry room we've tried that a little bit and you know we're getting 250 watts from the panels and we're still even with running the fridge and the tv we're still gaining 160 watts the fridge probably isn't running right now but so pretty cool and then you know we got the circuits and the panel checked um, to show that's what we can run now from the solar and may want to expand that soon. And, uh, but that's what we have right now. And there, I just turned off the, the fridge and the, the living room circuits just to show that that's what we're getting from the panels, about 270 Watts. Plus the inverter takes about 10 Watts, uh, just to run itself. Even if it's not running, that's its idle wattage pull. So, but very happy with the system. So, thanks for watching, guys.